Hey guys, Coach Mike here again today. Today I got a different video for you. I want to show you how we built our court here, some of the things we learned, some of the material we used, and what the cost of it was. So hopefully it'll be helpful for you if you're considering putting a backyard court at your house. All right, so for us, the first thing we started with was our base. So we did a four inch thick concrete as our base for our court. In talking to concrete contractors, we decided that was a good size to keep this court durable maintainable and for it to really last a long time. I would recommend talking to a concrete contractor to see what's best for you. But for us, we went with the four inch thick concrete and that should be pretty durable. All right, so once you have your concrete pad poured, you'll wanna consider putting a sport court on top of it. Now, what are the advantages of a sport court? First of all, you get your lines. So you get your paint here, your free throw lines, your three point lines, depending on your court size. And it makes it easy to install and then you have an already set up basketball court with lines ready to go. The other thing you can do is you can customize the colors. So we like the greens and the grays to kind of fit in with our background, but you can put blues or reds or yellows, really whatever color you want. And there's a lot of options online for companies who you can buy these sport courts from. For us, we decided to go with a company called Modutile for a couple of reasons. The first reason it was one of the more cost effective ways. I think it was, probably half the price of some of the more expensive um, sport courts. And the quality is really good. We had seen one before, like the quality, like the product, and so we decided to go with Modutile. All right, so when you buy with Modutile, they make the install very, very simple. So we chose a 30 by 30 kit from them because our court is 31 by 31, and that would give us a few inches on the outside of extra room. So a 30 by 30 kit we chose, and when they send you your court, they'll send you individual boxes for each row. So what I mean by that is one box will contain a row all the way down. Box number two, which is labeled number two, will contain the next row. So all you have to do is go box by box, setting up each row. So one, two, three. And for us, that wound up being 30 rows because we have a 30 by 30 court. Each panel is a 12 by 12 panel and they just interlock one by one. So the final thing you'll wanna consider is which basketball hoop you're gonna purchase. For us, we bought a Gorilla basketball hoop. Now this is a 60 inch wide backboard. They have some that are 72 and some that are 50. So just consider your size and what you're looking for. But for us, a 60 was really the perfect size for us. When considering which one, you also wanna think about the pole size. So we did a six inch by six inch pole size of the width here to help stop with some of the shaking and vibrations when you make a shot. So if I threw a basketball off the backboard, a smaller pole size, you'd see a lot of shaking on the backboard. A larger pole size will help stop some of that shaking and vibrating when you're hitting a ball off the rim or off the backboard. So with the Gorillas and almost any basketball hoop you'll buy now, it'll be adjustable. So you can move the height of the goal up and down. For this model, it just has this crank right here and you can just turn it and you'll see it'll start to move the hoop down. Now they do make a nice little scale here so you can see as you move it what height your rim is at. So I can stop right there at nine and a half feet and now the goal is set to nine and a half feet. One thing you will want to consider is getting a pad for the pole. You're not going to want anybody running into the pole getting injured. So Gorilla makes this nice pad that fits right over the pole. Now you'll notice that those seams are already cracking here and for me kids are trying to climb that and you can see the seams on both sides have just ripped off so you got to get that fixed but besides that it's a really good safety feature and helps to avoid some injuries okay so hopefully this was helpful to see how we built our court to see what material we use in building our court to see the size dimensions of the different things we purchased and hopefully that helps answer some questions you may be having if you're looking to build a court in your backyard so again for us we did a four inch thick concrete a modutile sport court on top of it and a goal rule of basketball goal. I'll put the links in the description so you can look up what we purchased and maybe it's right for you. Stay tuned again for more training videos. We're gonna be using this court to shoot a lot of really fun content and hopefully it'll help you take your game to the next level as you progress in your game. So stay tuned for more.